Good evening. Thank you, everyone, that's here. Um, I'm Daniel MacArthur, as you're well aware now. Um, so our bakery started back in 1992. It was started by my parents, Colin and Karen. And the name Asher's comes from the Bible. In Genesis, Jacob blesses Asher with these words. Uh, Out of Asher, his bread shall be fat, and he shall yield royal dainties. Now, <laughs> at that point, I'll just make a, a quick disclaimer. We're not trying to fatten people up. <laughs> it simply may, means that the bread is, is wholesome, so it does. Now, for anyone who, who doesn't know, last summer, uh, one of our shops was asked by a customer to decorate a cake with the words support gay marriage, and there was a logo on it of an organization called Queer Space. And we politely declined the order because it carried a message which uh, conflicts with our biblical beliefs, that marriage is given from God and is between a man and a woman. We didn't confront this customer, uh, nor did we question his sexuality. Uh, we simply exercised our right not to use creative skills to promote a cause with which we fundamentally disagree. Um, it wasn't the first time we've done this here. Uh, we've had uh, designs submitted with lewd images and foul language on them before, and we've turned them down them as well. Now, uh, several weeks later, uh, we received a letter from the Equality Commission and it was telling us that we had discriminated against this customer uh, and uh, or this, the discrimination was on the basis of his sexual orientation. This isn't true, of course, because we didn't know anything about this man. Uh, it wasn't him that we had a problem with. It was simply the message that he was asking us to promote. And so four months down the line, the commission said that uh, they were taking us to court to get compensation uh, for this man. And even though we struggled to understand how they made that decision. And yes, there is an element of stress uh, that we're going to have to defend our actions in court. There is a feeling of being picked upon by the Equality Commission because we believe that marriage is between a man and a woman something that is clearly taught in the Bible and something which hasn't been questioned for hundreds of years. But quite recently, the Equality Commission has taken this position that they support and promote same-sex mirage. Now, uh, I've used a David and Goliath analogy before because on one side, we do have what seems like a giant of an organization funded by taxpayers' money uh, we're in the armour of barristers and legal teams and advisors, and on the other side there's us, a small family business with limited resources. But perhaps that isn't quite accurate because we know in the Bible it says that if God is for us, who can be against us? And we know that we aren't facing this trial alone, and God keeps us in his perfect peace throughout it. The same David in that, David and Goliath, Battle says in Psalm 18, I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. Uh, so we will continue to hold to our position that we have done nothing wrong in our actions, uh, because we believe that it's a biblical position, and it's what God would want us to do. And if we were to drop the case and give in, uh, we do think it will only put pressure on other Christians and Christian businesses uh, that hold to marriage being between a man and a woman. Now, I, I've said there that Asher's is willing to serve any customer regardless of their sexual lifestyle, their race, religion, or their political stance, uh, but we will not be forced to promote a cause with uh, which we fundamentally disagree, because these biblical beliefs are obviously highest priority as to how we live and conduct our lives. Uh, we've received a lot of support from members of the public, like yourselves, and thank you for this here. And I know that, that there includes uh, many people who disagree with our views on same-sex marriage, uh, but who still think that we should have the freedom to turn down an order that conflicts with our conscience. The, Qu the Equality Commission seemed determined to penalise us for our beliefs, uh, but as Christians we believe, and we know, that God 
in his sovereignty is in control. And he chooses ways which we don't understand, but ways that glorify him. And he has blessed us with uh, much support and many prayers. And he has blessed us with the support of the Christian Institute, who are very professional at what they do. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. And they've helped us with legal advice. They've helped us with managing uh, the media. And they've encouraged us. And I know they've told us so many times that they are praying for us in their office over in Newcastle and here in Belfast. So uh, we praise and give thanks to God for that. And we praise him for Christians throughout the country who are praying for us and who are phoning in and writing to us and who are coming into our shop to show support. Um, and it's humbling to us as a family to see this here. Uh, people that we don't know, that we haven't met, but who are brothers and sisters in Christ who are supporting us and praying for us in this time. We don't know what the outcome will be on the 27th of March. We don't know which outcome God will choose to bring him glory, uh, but do, we do have great peace knowing that it is in his hands. So please keep praying for our situation and our court case. Uh, pray for wisdom and courage for us as we go through it. Uh, we don't look forward to it, and we know it will be difficult. Um, but I would also say pray that God would stop this kind of moral decline, which we see so much in our country, that is just going to have more Christians pulled before courtrooms to simply defend living out a faith in Jesus Christ. But there is a more difficult prayer, I think, for all of us to pray. Jesus says, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And I would say that we need to pray for the people involved in this, even the people in the Equality Commission, that they would come to know Jesus as their saviour and king. Thank you.